Hello, good evening, and welcome to the special meeting of the Putnam County Legislature, Legislature, called by the clerk at the request of the chairman for the adoption of the 2023 budget. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and the Legislature of Adam, could you listen, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Legislative prayer. We seek blessings on the task before us. Bless our efforts with clear insight, our deliberations with wisdom, our work with clarity and accuracy, and our decisions with impartiality. Amen. Amen. Uh, roll call, please. District 1, Legislator Montgomery. Here, District 2, Legislator Goldman. Present. District 3, Legislator Adnizio. Present. District 4, Legislator Nasarino. Present. District 5, Legislator Alabama. Present. District 6, Legislator Yonke. Present. District 7, Legislator Castellano. Present. District 8, Legislator Sage. Present. District 9, Chairman Sullivan. Present. Um, next is uh, pre filed resolutions. Uh, of the Budget and Finance Committee. And the first item, 4A, is related to tourism, the I Love New York program, county matching funds, increasing it from 60,000 to 120,000. Any discussion, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 The next item is item 4B, which is transportation on the part bus system, essential services chargebacks properly, so basically the county entry to properly reflect the chargeback revenue. The amount, uh, well, it was a couple different amounts, so no, no need to mention those, there's four different amounts, but they're just, they're just cleaning up and moving money around, uh, no effect overall. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, 4C is a legislative clerk increase. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 4D is an administrative assistant increase. Any questions or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Next is item 4E, which is a county executive increase of three points up 5% for the cost of living adjustment. Any questions or discussion? Questions. Yes, Legislator Montgomery. Um, I don't see on this agenda comments from legislators the way normal uh, full legislative agenda reads. So are you not taking comments at the end from legislators? <coughs> but it's the first time I'm noticing that too. So. It's during before a reso or it gets adopted before a vote on you can make a comment during any resolution. So I, I guess what what uh, Diane is saying, if you want to make comment, you would make it now. Okay. On each individual item. So, you have a Yes. A special meeting is called for a limited purpose. And in this case, the limited purpose is to adopt the budget. So it doesn't follow the, it doesn't necessarily follow the same agenda of the full meetings that we have, because this is a special. Right. But we could take comments on each item before okay. we vote on it. You're, you're always required to. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so, so you're not going to take comments? No, I am. At That's why I asked yeah. when I, we're going through each item. Any discussion right. or questions? Okay, my Nobody's point. making any. So. Not at the end. Yeah. No, no. Not, no. At the, not at the very end, it sounds like, but on each item individually, it sounds like the way, we're, the way it works. Okay, so I just have comments. Good. Just the raises for the county executive's office is, I mean, I just think it's kind of funny. Or actually, I don't think it's kind of funny. Um, when you consider the experts are saying we're gonna 
face a recession. They predict um, unemployment will jump 6%. People are going to lose their jobs this year, this fiscal year 2023, um, while we're handing out taxpayers' hard-earned money um, for people who have not even been hired yet. So inflation's up 6.6%. Um, this was our chance to save a little bit of money. These people are not even in office yet or hired. We don't even know who some of them are going to be, you know. We don't even know who all of them are going to be. Um, so I think it's, I think it's um, just silly to be handing out raises for people we don't even know yet. Uh, let us say, Yankee. Yeah, these were proposed as cost of living adjustments to existing salaries, just as every other employee, every single other employee in 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 the, the county county's employment. You you haven't objected to one other cost of living adjustment. You talk about recession, losing jobs. I think it's funny. Um, you haven't objected to anyone else, and you're going to pick on one department. That's politics. Anyone else? Well, I think the point is you're saying that people who I, I made a statement, I don't need crosstalk. I just made a statement. No, I made the comment. And I think we made all our I think we made all our crosstalk and points during committee. I'm making my statement here. Very good. Point just to work on this during the Thank committee. You. Thank you. I don't need to be responded to. This is my statement. I could say whatever I want. I'm the chair. I don't need to you tell me when I can say something or not say something. Anybody else? All in favor? Aye. Are you going to offer a... That was your, you had your discussion. Sure. Are you going to call for a no vote or an abstention or... I didn't hear you say no. <laughs> I wish we know how to run meetings. Could you say all opposed, possibly? So it could be heard for the record? Any abstentions? Any, any no's? I vote no. Happy? Ward F is uh, the county executive, the deputy county executive, increased 3.5% for cost of living adjustment. Comments or discussion? Being that there's none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any no's? I vote no. For G, County Executive, Chief of Staff, increased 3.5% for cost of living adjustment. Any comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any no's? No. For H, County Executive, Director of Constituent Services, increase 3.5% for cost of living adjustment. Any comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any no's? No. For I is the County Executive Confidential Secretary, increased 3.5% for cost of living adjustment. Any comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? I vote no. For J is Highway Engineering Project Manager, Project Manager Reclass to Chief Project Manager move to sub-contingency. Any comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? 4K, Sheriff, Contracts, New York State Parks and Rec properly reflect county portion of state aid of Marine Patrol Grant. Any comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any no's? For L, 
Sheriff, buckle up 2012 to 2013 grant. Is that, that's typed up, right? Right? Buckle up grant for 2022-2023. For um, any discussion or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? For M is the Sheriff Police Traffic Services Program. Any comments or discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? For N is the district attorney, vacant assistant district attorney line. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? For O, probation. Stop PWI fines, increase and in stop PWI fines. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any no's? Next is uh, item five, which is other business. And we have two items tonight, uh, other business. The first one being 5A, which is an approval for a memorandum of agreement to accurately reflect salary increase in individual budget lines. Any comments or questions? We need a, mic, a second to uh, uh, discuss this item. Second, Legislative Sage, thank you. Any comments or discussion on this item? All in favor? Aye. 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 A motion for uh, uh, item 5B to discuss this item. Have a second. Second. Thank you. Uh, which is offset total salary adjustments of 23,091 certiorari refunds uh, to move, what are we saying? Offset total salary adjustments. Budget finance meeting to take it from the Certiorari refunds amount. Okay. Any, yeah, I, I brought this uh, resolution forward. Um, typically, when we make changes, and in this case, we've made some adjustments to the county executive's office and our own office, um, rather than dipping straight into the fund balance to balance it, I, I spoke with our commissioner of finance. Um, there, are, there are years when the certiorari fund, um, we, we don't allocate anything near what's in reserve. And we both, after discussion, felt that in that 20,000-ish ballpark, we could do it. Um, the commissioner agreed with me. The amount of all those raises adds up to 23,000. So I'm proposing, rather than dipping into the fund balance, we make a move from this, this fund. Um, and I think we're both confident that uh, we've left enough money in the fund. Um, okay, I mean, it's taxpayer money one way or the other, right? So we're just taking money out of one account to move it into this account? But we're not dipping into the fund balance. Right, but we have one account, so it's all kind of the same thing, but that's fine. If you want to designate accounts, that's, I have no problem with that. Anybody else have any? Uh, we need a second? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Any other discussion, comments, or questions? All in favor? Hi, can I ask a question? I just, this came late and I haven't had a chance to actually look at it and work through it. Um, what page is the certiorari funds on? I believe it's 45. 45? 46, 46. I mean, I'm going to all abstain because this, I don't know why we couldn't do this during the budget process in committee. I've been told when I asked for late add-ons or have additional questions, I'm always told why couldn't we do it when we were in the committee meeting. So. Because it's something I thought of in the right, last week. That happens, right, doesn't it? 
And I appreciate that you brought it to us. And that's why, that's why I just, I, I yeah. think I explained it. And I'm going to abstain because I haven't had enough time to review it. Perfect. Let us say I think the point is that legislator, you have to go forward resolution. Mm -hmm. Just didn't throw it out there on the floor on the way. Mm -hmm. There's a fundamental difference here. Not really. In your opinion, not mine. Anyone else? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any no's? No. Abstention. Abstention, thank you. Uh, item 6i is all set to changes to budget. And it's item 6-1, where it says um, to offset the changes of such adjustment amount as required to offset changes to the tentative budget of the county legislature, including county executive vetoes, not overridden by the county legislature, and including final adjustment for health insurance rates to comply with tax cap requirements of the state of New York. It being the intent of the legislature to adopt a real property tax levy of $46,687,781, the same real prop property tax levy as contained in the 2022 county adopted budget and in the 2023 tentative budget.
one or six two has to be adopted. Six one. You keep the levy. Six one, correct. You keep the, the tax levy the same as it was in the tentative budget, and the excess is taken from the Fund balance. From the reserve, and in six two, you'll be increasing the tax levy. So your motion should be for which of those two resolutions do you want to move forward? Right. So you heard the explanation. So. Seems like 6 1 is the, we want to keep the tax levy flat, but that's up to. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. I agree. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do we need a motion? Do we need to take a roll call on that? First, you need a motion to adopt resolution 6 1, okay. and a second, and, and then discussion as well. Okay. So I'll make a motion to adopt 6 1. Second. second. Thank you. Any discussion or comments? Can I? have some clarification. You made a comment that you were keeping the tax levy flat. We're mm -hmm. keeping it flat based on the tentative budget. It's not flat based on last year's figures. Correct? We're still increasing taxes. No. 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 It's no the, the last year adopted number, the tentative budget is the same as last year's adopted, and this adopted will be the same as those two. It's actually both the answer to your question. Last year's adopted was $45,561,000. No, no. Yeah, that's what's published online. So that's all I can go by. No. Any further comments or questions? I'm, I'm trying to look at the clarification here because. Fractured skull by some maniac. 
And um, I'd like to say I think about that, and I'm sorry for that family. I've met Paul, he's a very nice man, and uh, just think it's crazy that we're not doing more in this county to support the resources uh, for mental health, spreading that meager whatever increase across all of our subcontractors for mental health sends an image, I feel like a Dickens character coming before the legislature and the county executive with a tin cup. Um, so I'm glad to see that the vehicles and the resources for the sheriff's department got funded finally. I think it's important to note that a lot of these items were de denied in the previous sheriff's budget along with positions. Um, but the 15% increase to the Sheriff's Command staff, um, employees who have not, county employees who have not even been here for a year, is just distasteful, especially considering that um, the Sheriff didn't make himself available to talk about these increases for the public record. An $18,998 raise, 15% for others after only a year on the job, and no public discussion, and nothing for the public record. Um, transparency seems to not be with us. So, um, similar to the county executive salaries, the sheriffs are making close to, the sheriff is making more than $20,000 uh, more than our neighboring counties, and we're a third of their size like the county executive is making more than our neighboring counties. Um, so, you know, unfortunately, those positions, too, in previous year's budgets, those, those captains were not given significant raises. They were given the, you know, management raises that the rest of the county's employees got. So, 2023 budget, once again, puts upper management um, and elected officials uh, first, and the people of Putnam la last. Those who need it the most come out last in this budget, and those who have the most come out first in this budget. And uh, I just think we can do better. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, let's say young. Yeah. I'm very happy with the end result of this budget. We all put a lot of work into this budget. We've shown that we care about our employees. Um, it's sad that on, on this night, Legislator Montgomery wants to make a political speech about overdoses. I wonder if she's reached out to any of our federal officials as far as our open border and the fentanyl that's coming across our southern border and killing our people she comes here tonight to talk about fentanyl overdoses as, as it relates to this budget. I don't see a connection. Uh, the sheriff's captains, you know, we get lost in, or, or uh, legislator Montgomery gets lost in position and title and human beings and not the jobs. We're here to talk about the jobs. These captains are being paid less than the captains that were here when there was a Democrat sheriff. And this is an adjustment to try to make those salaries right. We have a Republican county executive coming in. That, that office was the only office that didn't get a COLA. It's okay when everybody else gets a cost of living adjustment, but when, when it's a Republican county executive coming in, or the sheriff's captains who were, un, in my opinion, unfairly treated when they came in because the Democratic sheriff, his, his captains did not take a pay cut when they came in. All right, so you want to talk about political speeches at a budget meeting, this is it's unfortunate and disappointing. Thank you. Anyone else have a comment? Legislator Thank you. Uh, tonight I'm proud to vote in support of the 2023 Putnam County budget. Once again, County Executive Mary Ellen O'Dell did not disappoint and delivered a basic fiscally sound budget while staying within the tax gap. The legislature held committee meetings throughout October and made very few revisions to the tentative budget, which in of itself was an indicator that we started with a good working document. The county has a healthy fund balance and a great financial standing with a double A 
bond rating. The tax levy will be the same as 2022, and the property tax rate is the lowest since 2009. That being said, this year's budget presented many challenges with high inflation affecting our economy. Rising health care costs, soaring fuel and utility increases, and community college costs soaring were among the main high expense drivers. Yet despite these challenges we are facing, tonight we are voting to improve a budget incorporating the rising expenses while meeting both our fiscal and social responsibilities. Our outside agencies, all of whom contribute to the quality of life here in Putnam County will receive a 3.5% increase. Our management confidentials employees who work hard every day will receive a 3.5% COLA increase, as well as our largest union, CSEA, who elected to a one-year extension to their contract. I'm also very proud of our Share the Growth Intermunicipal Partnership with our local municipalities. This year we shared the sales tax and the opera funds to support infrastructure projects throughout the county. Hopefully this initiative will be feasible in the future. Lastly, I am most proud to support the Tilly Forster Farm and Educational Institute and the Putnam Golf Course from its inception. These venues have contributed to our quality of life in Putnam County in more ways than we could have ever imagined. They attract both county and non-county residents and have put Putnam County on the map as a tourist destination and attraction. I have heard over and over again from constituents, neighbors, and friends how much they enjoy both venues for recreation, education, and celebrations. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Um, let's say Sage. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I mean, just to, just to understand what the county executive and the administration is facing, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, from March 2021 to March 2022, consumer prices for energy increased 32%. Prices increased for fuel oil, 71.1%. Gasoline, 48%. Electricity, 11.1%. Natural gas, 21.6%. This is all in a one-year period from 2021 to 2022. And during this time, the administration and all department heads had to determine what their budgets are. Consumer prices for items uh, like food rose 6.5% for the year ended March 2022. Prices for shelter increased 5%, the largest 12 month advance since May of 1991. This is according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. When this budget season began, we were all faced with rising prices, rising inflation, and possible recession for the coming year. Families are dealing with this increases in prices in groceries, uh, at the pump, in transportation, in their households, energy costs, and most consumer goods. These increases not only affect Putnam families, but also local government. Putnam County is no different. And we must budget for these increases and also those costs associated with unfunded mandates coming from Albany. We face increases in utilities, fuel, food, supplies, increases in community college tuitions that the county pays for our local municipalities, increases in costs of early childhood education and transportation, and the list goes on and on. These are all costs the county must cover. <coughs> Knowing the stress of the taxpayer and the instability of the economy going forward, I commend the county executive in her proposed $180 million budget that does not increase property tax levy to homeowners. Not only does this budget not increase the tax levy, but it addresses the concerns of the economic downturn without limiting services to the taxpayer expects from government. And it covers those unfunded mandates passed down from Albany. Over the past month, the legislature has had the opportunity to go over this budget line by line. This is a sound conservative budget, once again, from the county executive, and is respectful of the taxpayer who funds this budget. Make no mistake, government dollars are taxpayer dollars. The healthy, our healthy county is a result of years of planning and good fiscal management. Putnam County has a healthy fund balance which is a result of years of disciplined budgeting. This 
fund balance along with a reduction in debt has allowed the county to maintain its AA1 bond rating and put our county on solid footing to face an uncertain economy. Although we may be facing an excuse me, although we may be facing an economic downturn through years of fiscal discipline, we are in the best position to weather the storm ahead. I'd like to thank our county executive, all the department heads for their hard work in submitting a responsible budget to work with and to do the best for the taxpayer, along with taking care of our employees. So I'm very proud of this budget and I'm very proud to uh, vote in the affirmative. Thank you, Legislative Sage. Anyone else? I would also just like to commend the administration and uh, thank the employees for all their hard work and the administration for, for 10, 11 years of, of solid, uh, but presenting us with solid budgets and leaving the county in such a great financial position for the future. I want to thank the employees for all their hard work. I think uh, they certainly are due cost of living adjustment with all the rising prices uh, for energy, for food, and uh, everything else pretty much that you buy as a result of uh, some, some poor policies at the national level. And I really would just like to thank all of you for working hard this year together to, to work on this budget and make sure that we're able to be the proper stewards of the taxpayers' money. And I think we did a great job of working together on this budget. I'm very proud of it. And, you know, look forward to uh, the next couple of months to finish everything up. But thank you, everyone, for your hard work on this. Anyone else? Okay. So we then move on to uh, uh, vote. Sorry. Uh, roll call vote, please. Legislator Edmonton. Yes. Legislator Alabama. Yes. Legislator Castellano. Yes. Legislator Goldman. Yes. Legislator Young. Yes. Legislator Montgomery. No. Legislator Massimino. Yes. Legislator Sage. Yes. Chairman Sullivan. Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, next is item 7B, which is a resolution adopting the budget for the fiscal year 2023, commencing January 1st, 2023, making appropriations for the operation of the county government and establishing rates of compensation for officers and employees for the fiscal year 2023. Any comments or discussion? Second. 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 Any comments or discussion? Roll call vote, please. Legislator Edmonds, yes. Legislator Albano. Yes. Legislator Castellano. Yes. Legislator Gould. Yes. Legislator Yankee. Yes. Legislator Montgomery. No. Legislator Massimino. Yes. Legislator Sage. Yes. Chairman Sullivan. Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Um, item eight. Adjournment. So make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.